Hi our friends and happy Tuesday. Today's about the crazy hair, which I think I got covered on a regular basis. And it's all about the school spirit. So today for our project, we are going to be making our school's logo. It's gonna be the B and the R for Blue Rich. And we're gonna be decorating and designing it in our own special way. Now, a logo, is something that a company or an organization uses to identify themselves. It's a symbol, okay? So we see symbols everywhere all the time and you don't even know it. So a logo could be something like the swish mark. What company is that? Nike. The Golden Arches? McDonald's. And how about this music note that's kind of like a pinkish and a blue? TikTok. So these are all logos. Now, for our school, we identify with our B and our R. So we are going to be recreating that today, step by step. What you're going to need to do this is a pencil, an eraser, a piece of paper, and whatever you wanna to use to color with. So pause the video, grab your supplies, and let's get going. All right, so just to start, you're going to need your pencil and your eraser. I'm gonna actually sharpen my pencil real quick. All right, so we are going to try to make our logo take up the whole page. So our B is gonna go somewhere over here and our R is gonna go somewhere down here. So we wanna think to draw pretty large. So the first part we're going to do is we're going to start off with our B and we're going to draw a straight line across the top. And I'm going to start a little bit in from the edge and I'm going to draw a straight line that stops a little bit past halfway. All right, from there we're going to use about a two finger space and we're going to drop down a line. And we're gonna go in just a little bit like this. Now I'm going to drop down a line from here all the way down. And that's probably about the length of my pointer finger, kind of as making the letter L to the corner of that L. All I'm now gonna kind of repeat what I did up there. I'm gonna draw out about a two finger space down. And we're gonna draw a parallel line that runs right next to it and stops in the same area. Now we're gonna start working on the bumps of our B. So you're gonna do a diagonal line, again, about two fingers, so I can always measure it and mark it. And I'm gonna make that diagonal line go out, but my diagonal line at the bottom is going to kind of go up and out, as well as two finger space. Now I'm gonna do about a three finger line from here to there, so again, mark it out. I'm going to connect it. And then I'm gonna do a diagonal line that goes in about two fingers. So we're gonna make a V here, so I'm gonna V this out about two fingers as well, so it's even. Now, this space right here, we are only going to connect it with a very faint line because later in this drawing, we might have to erase that line. So I'm just going to put it in really light so I'm able to erase that later. So from here, I want to add in my letter R. We'll worry about the insides of our B in a few minutes. So. To do the R, I'm going to start right at the top like I did with my B, and I'm going to draw a straight line, maybe starting about halfway through my letter B, and coming out, trying to make it about the same length as that one. Might be a little shorter.
All right, now from there, we are going to bring a diagonal line just like we did at our top of our B. We're gonna do a two finger diagonal out. You're gonna drop about a four finger space. So if I measure that out, about four fingers. And you're gonna draw a straight line. And just kind of like we did with our B, now we're gonna make a diagonal that goes in. Now, for the top of our R, we kind of wanna mimic this over here so that our letters look the same. So I'm gonna make this go out a little bit further. We're gonna drop it down just like we did there. You're gonna pull it in a little bit. And now, just like we made this line very faint, we're going to make a very faint line here going down because later we might erase that. We're going to make that same little line, but going out now, a two finger space going down. I'm going to make about three finger space over, so I'm lining my finger up. I'm going to put a mark on my one, two, three, third finger, and that way I know about how long to make it by connecting the dots. I'm going to draw a line up so it's parallel and even with that line, and then one that goes in just like that. So it's kind of like you're making a rectangle without connecting the middle. Now I'm going to do about a two finger space going up. A three finger space measuring it out to go over. And now we're going to make diagonal lines. So I'm going to make a diagonal line from here to about the bottom here. So I kind of want to make it even with that. So I'm going to put a line. And again, this is not straight down. It is at a diagonal. And I'm going to make a shorter diagonal over here. So this diagonal is going to be diagonal at about two finger space. So I can connect that there. I'm going to do a three finger space over. A line that goes up, so it's about even with this line. And I'm going to connect it. So you should have the outline of your B and the light outline of your R. Now we're gonna work on adding the centers of these and this is where it's going to get a little complicated. We're going to be doing some erasing because we want our logo to look like they're hooked together like a chain. So like this is my B and this is my R and they're hooked together, okay? So we're gonna start at the top of our B, which is the easier part. And about even with this line, two fingers, I'm going to make a mark here, and then I'm going to go across from here, do two fingers in, and make a mark even. So you should have two dots, two finger spaces in. And you're going to connect that. You're going to drop it down maybe about a smushed, like one smushed out finger, like a thumb, on both sides. And then we're going to connect that. So you should have a skinny rectangle taking a nap. Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom of our B. So I'm going to line the bottom of the opening up with this line here. So for this, I'm going to do two fingers and make a mark. Kind of come over here, two fingers, and make a mark. And I'm going to draw these lines all kind of lightly in because later we might have to erase it. 
I'm going to go up and my up is maybe about three fingers. So you can do that on both sides and I'm going to connect it. So again, I did that whole box pretty light. Now we're going to go down here and do our R. So our R is going to be lined up with this line right there. You're going to do two fingers over and about two fingers over. Okay, draw this line very light as well. And we're going to go about three fingers down again. Okay, connect. Connect again, do it lightly. And then you can bring this box over. So I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and do that. So now we're going to do some erasing. So we want it to look like, again, they're looped, and we're going to make it look like at some points our B is behind our R, and in some areas our R is behind our B. So the first line we're going to erase is right here. So you're going to come to your R to the top, so everybody can point with their finger with me. And do you see this line and this line where the B is coming in? We're going to take our eraser and we're going to erase that. So we want it to look like the B is behind our R. Okay? So it's like the R is, here's the B, the R is over top of it. Okay. Now, everybody point the same spot with me, right here in our R. Okay? This part of our R is going to be behind our B. So we're going to erase these lines, this line and this line. And now when we look at it, our R is behind our B. Excellent. So now you should have the basic part of our logo and they should be hooked together like a loop so they're so strong they can't fall apart. Okay. Now the next step is designing the logo, decorating it. Okay. I want you to show your love for your school and your school spirit today and I want you to decorate this, the letters and the background to prove how much you are a Raider for life. So this could be things like you're putting your favorite subjects in your letters. So paint splatter, music notes, um, math signs, books you like to read. Maybe you want to put in our pledge. You could write our pledge, right? I will be a respectful friend. You could design it with things that you think represent our school. Or maybe use patterns and designs that kind of show your emotions, how school makes you feel, how it, it kind of makes you happy. So you might put a bunch of bright colors in there, polka dots and hearts. Maybe you want to put in your friends' names or your teachers' names. Okay, so your possibilities are endless to this. This is all about you showing your school pride. Okay. So, you can use whatever. I would first draw the designs in with my pencil, and then I would use my coloring supplies, whatever it is you want to use, and color it in. So, go ahead, friends, and take it away.
So that wraps up another day of making art with me. Make sure that you are posting your creations in the comments below. And on Class Dojo, we found that you can't post your picture there. So if you want me to see it, send me a private message on Class Dojo and I will be sure to see it there, okay? Also, I've been posting lots of videos so you can subscribe to my YouTube account and that way you'll never miss it when I upload a video. All right, so we are BR Raiders for Life. Keep creating.